Well, it was it that there, there was the, initially it was women's history, and then there's this shift towards gender. Now, what period does that occur in? That came quite a bit later, but I've never done straight women's history mm. ever, um, because all, that Munby material is all, was all about the relationship between the two of them, and in fact, the, one of the criticisms of that long piece I did on them was that it was really from his point of view and making her too much of a victim. Uh, but there was a lot of uh, material too coming out from small women's groups, some of which was more like propaganda, and that, because I was trying to be, become more of a professional historian, was a bit worrying. Mm -hmm. And so that some of the debates we were having was, a, you know, a, um, how, how much do you try and stand back and be more, of course, academic. Mm. Um, and the role of women's, and if you remember, in Britain, more than in, in the States, women's history was, because of the history workshop, it was one of the, it, it, as far as academia went, <coughs> and as far as the in, intellectual side of the women's movement went, it was really um, pioneered by the historians. Mm. Later on, mm. the whole liter literary establishment. Mm. But there were also, because I was in touch through Diana Leonard and so on, there were, um, and I gave some a paper at Oxford too, with in Shirley Ardner's mm -hmm. seminar. Um, I began to work on lodging and lodgers, which is an extension from service. Mm -hmm. But again, you see, that's not straight women's history. Mm. Um, so for you, the coming to, to the idea of gender was really like a return to, or I mean. Or perhaps seeing where you were all the time. That's right. Yeah. Only, only it then had a name, and and I was struck looking back. I wrote the Munby article was published. I wrote it in 1974, mm -hmm. and it was published a year or so later. And the title is Class and Gender. Mm -hmm. Of course, that was very exciting. We felt we were, you know, <laughs> it was really the first political um, movement in any way that I'd really been involved in. Mm -hmm. um, Except a bit at, in Oberlin was a sort of hothouse of that sort of thing, but to be really um, involved in it, and that was very, it was very exciting time. Mm. 